All right, um, this is really hard starting a video. Stick around and I'll show you. No, that's not good either. <laughs> Scratch my butt. <laughs> I love natural light, but my house is totally lacking in natural light. I'm gonna show you how I made my kitchen feel more open and bright using mirrors. Stick around. My kitchen is basically a kitchen dining combo with one large window on the dining side. But this is the first house that I've ever lived in that I've had the kitchen sink face a wall. I've always had a window to look out of or it's looked out over a room, like a living room. It's an open concept. So this is kind of a first for me. And for a few years, I just had a, a framed picture. It was a scripture verse written in calligraphy. I found it at Goodwill. And I like it. I still have it. But I wanted something different, inspired by the beautiful, large tile mirrors on Pinterest. I set out to create this look for my problem area in the kitchen. It didn't quite go how I wanted it to, but I am pleased with the result. I started out with 12 eight by 10 framed mirrors from Dollar Tree, two pieces of foam core board from the Dollar Tree, E6000, hot glue and glue sticks, and I had some little gems that I was gonna spray paint and place where the four corners of each mirror met. I took the mirrors out of each frame laid the two pieces of foam board down and laid out the mirror tiles to see how they fit. I taped the foam boards together on one side then flipped it over to glue the center using E6000 and hot glue and then I taped to that side as well. I laid out the mirror tiles and began gluing them down to the foam board with E6000 and hot glue. I then placed magazines on top of the mirrors to weigh them down. Now, I'm really impatient, so I'm sure I didn't wait long enough for it to dry, but I thought the, the hot glue would hold it together. But when I pulled that mirror up to just kind of stand it up, it was so flimsy. And I was gonna add some uh, wood sticks to the back of it or to s strengthen it some, but I felt like I was a little too ambitious with this project and the foam core. So I went ahead and took three of the mirrors off the top. So it was just gonna be nine mirrors, three by three. But then disaster struck. And I'm gonna show you why on this clip. This foam core is basically two pieces of paper that's adhered to this foam. And so I had all my mirrors attached to this foam core and then the paper starts coming off. It just comes off. So if you have a project that's relying on this foam core and you haven't secured this paper, you got problems. I would definitely recommend maybe taping around this and securing it somehow if you're going to use this foam core as a project backing. So that's what happened. My mirrors were glued to this paper that decided it was going to peel away from this foam core. So definitely tape your board around the edges. So I took all the mirrors off of the foam board and put them back in the frames. So then I thought I would just place them individually using command poster strips. And <laughs> that didn't turn out well either. As I put the pictures up, I realized that there was really no way for me to get behind it to like pull the little strip down. With a poster, you can flip the pa paper, but with these frames, you really couldn't and so I realized early on that I didn't have a good way to release the command strips when I needed to pull these down. You know, it was pulling the paint off. Oh no, this is not good. So back to the drawing board with another plan. I laid all the mirrors down and taped the back of them very well. And then I took one of these trifold project boards it's only a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And I used that as the backing. I used E6000 and hot glue. And then I cut away the extra cardboard. Now this mirror 
you know, it was still a little flimsy when I picked it up, but I wasn't in fear that it was going to fall apart on me. And it was really lightweight, and so I was able to just use, um, I think, maybe four command strips on the back, the Velcro kind, so that, you know, I, have, I can pull it off and then pull the command strips off. So I was able to hang it up really easy, and it's super lightweight, and it has made such a huge difference in that kitchen. We all loved it right away. Um, it's really been a nice addition, and it has given the kitchen a whole new feel. You know, I don't feel like I'm walking up to a dead-end space. It's not like being able to look out a window, but it kind of is because I'm able to still see something besides just a blank wall. I can still see behind me and kind of around me and it really makes a difference. It makes me a lot happier when I'm at the sink. So I liked the mirror so much over the sink that I wanted to um, add mirrors to the other problem area where I prep for cooking. I would leave my back towards the window. So I thought if I did a mirror to backsplash, I would be able to see the window. I had these three 11 by 14 mirrors that I had bought at Dollar Tree several years back. And I went ahead and taped them up to the wall to see if um, I would like that. And I couldn't see the window from where I was standing. And, you know, it could have just been, it may have to do with my height or whatever. But with the mirrors flat against the wall, it didn't give me that viewpoint that I was wanting. As I was doing that, the tape kind of let loose and the mirrors just sort of dropped onto the counter. And the way they dropped, it was at a little bit of an angle and it was just perfect. I could see the window behind me and by accident, that's how I ended up just basically propping these mirrors up on the counter and um, it works. It makes me a lot happier that I can stand there and see the window. And in the springtime, we really get some beautiful sunsets and just the way that the sun is while I'm cooking, then uh, oftentimes I can catch the beautiful sunset through the mirror. I love it. It really brightens up the space in the kitchen and I want to add more mirrors to my house. 2019 is going to be the year of the mirrors for the Pizzotti household. If you have used mirrors to help some, solve some decorating problems in your house, let me know what you've done in the comments below. 